you saw, let's say you saw somebody being mugged in an alley, what would you do about it? Would you turn a blind eye? No! Would you try to help? Yes! Would you report it to somebody? Yes! Would you try to do the right thing? Yes! So what? why is it that when somebody saw a horrible, horrible, terrific, horrific crime, much worse than a mugging, and they tried to do the right thing by reporting it, they end up in jail. How could that possibly be? It's the U.S. The United States is guilty of war crimes. The United States government is guilty of war crimes. Bradley Manning is a young soldier, 22 years old, who came across some video documentary evidence of war crimes that this country is committing in our names with our tax dollars for some illegal, immoral, unfounded reason based on lies. Lies! Lies got us into this war. And Bradley Manning found evidence of these lies and he reported them. Now, the government covers up these lies and they classify them because they don't want the world to see. They don't want the world to see how we have violated international law. And so they classified it and now he's done the wrong thing according to the government because he's, he's let out these secrets. Now they're not a secret to the Afghanis, it's not a secret to the Iraqis. It's not secret to, it's not secret to anybody. So just classifying something doesn't make it secret, doesn't make it sacred. Bradley Manning put his life on the line to tell the truth. And we have to support this young man. Bradley Manning has been in solitary confinement since May of last year. 300 days this young man has been in a cell six feet by 12 feet. He gives one hour a day to get out of the cell and quote exercise where he's taken to a small room where he is able to walk in circles. He has not been outside. He is not allowed visitors. He is not allowed exercise. If he tries to exercise in his cell, they prohibit him. His guards say, no, he cannot exercise. They don't let him sleep. Sleep deprivation is torture. Sleep deprivation is torture, people. He is, and that's what they are doing to Bradley Manning. They wake him up every five minutes and make him verbally at, uh, respond to questions. They don't let him sleep in his cell between the hours of 5 a.m. and 8 p.m. This is torture. Sleep deprivation is proven to be a torture tactic. No to torture. No to torture. they are treating him. They are using nudity as a punitive measure, forced nudity as a punitive measure, in addition to making him uh, in solitary confinement and no access to visitors and no access to exercise or the outdoors. They are uh, forced nudity. He is not allowed to wear any clothes at night. In the morning he must report naked and stand to attention in front of uh, his guards for more inspection. This is, forced nudity is a torture technique. The sleep deprivation is a torture technique. Uh, denying access to exercise is a torture technique. And it, or I thought our government was above that. Our government supposedly does not torture, but we know better. Not only do they torture their own people, they torture other We have got to say no to this. Bradley Manny deserves a fair trial. This young man has not even gone to trial, but he has been in prison in solitary confinement for 300 days, people. That's almost one year. Actually, yeah. Jail by himself, wandering 300 
301, thank you, has been in jail 301 days by himself without access to the press, without access to his loved ones. And this is without a travesty. Sleep. Without conviction. Without exactly. conviction. He hasn't gone to trial. But you know what? He does hear. He does hear through his friend David House. He does, uh, he does know that we are out here supporting him. Just yesterday, uh, three, uh, three dozen people were arrested at Quantico, Virginia, protesting in support of Bradley Manning and the torturous conditions he's being held under. 35 people were arrested, including Daniel Ellsberg, who calls Bradley Manning a personal hero. Yes. Daniel Ellsberg, who leaked the Pentagon Papers and exposed the war lies of Vietnam, calls Bradley Manning a hero. If you can think of a name of a real criminal, shout it out. We're going to put it on a sign. The real criminals that need to be in jail. Vehicles. 
and laughed about it. It's a horrifying tape. You have to watch it, though, because it is the truth. It is the truth. And so the American, it's called collateral murder. Collateral murder. It is the truth, and the government, the U.S. government, classifies it so that we wouldn't see the truth. They made it a secret Criminals made so that we couldn't see it. It's not a secret to the Iraqis. This is war. That is the truth of war. It is not a lie. What is a lie is what got us in that situation in the first place. We're going to get a We're going to free Listen, just because we're freeing Bradley now, here symbolically doesn't mean, I'm not going to say it, but it doesn't mean anything unless we keep up the pressure, unless we, we don't just stop with today. We have to keep talking. We have to keep being in the street. Barack Obama has now jailed more government whistleblowers than every other president in history combined. This should work. This should tell us all a very large tale. There are war crimes being committed around this globe in your name with your tax dollars, and you are not being told about it. It changes today. Fuck, hope, demand, change. Demand, change, demand, change, demand. About right. I am Bradley, you are Bradley, we are Bradley Manning. I am Bradley, you are Bradley, we are Bradley.